Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. And this time, it is going to be on Dark Phoenix. So, in Dark Phoenix, the X-Men face their most formidable and powerful foe, one of their own Jean Grey. During a, res during a rescue mission in space, Jean is nearly killed when she is hit by a mysterious cosmic force. Once she returns uh, home, uh, this force uh, not only makes her um, infinitely more powerful, but far more unstable. Uh, wrestling with this early with um, entity inside her, Jean unleashes her powers in ways she can neither comprehend nor contain. With Jean spiraling out of control and hurting the one she loves the most, uh, she begins to unravel the very fabric that holds the X-Men together. Now, with this family falling apart, they must find a, a way to unite, not only to save Jean's soul, uh, but to save our very planet uh, from aliens who wish to weaponize this force and rule the galaxy. Huh, so, about Dark Phoenix, huh, there has been a lot of issues going on before this movie was even released. So, do they overall hurt the film? Well, let me get into my praises first. Everybody's terrific in this movie. Everybody gave a good performance. And that's it. That's all my positives I have to say about this movie. I hated this movie. I am serious. I did not like this movie at all, other than other than the performances. Uh, now, yes, I have seen every X-Men movie, but most of them I have only watched one, so I might get things wrong, but I know issues that happened with The Last Stand. Uh, like, I've heard it, I've heard multiple things about what happened with The Last Stand, but easily the one that I'll only watch one time is X-Men Origins Wolverine. This is on par with that movie. Well, hey, there's no there's no uh, crappy Deadpool mouth sewn shut or crappy CGI weapons or stupid fights, but you know, that doesn't hide the fact that there is so much notable stuff that this movie gets wrong. So, um um first off Okay, this movie is PG-13, and, uh, you know, other X-Men movies, Deadpool, even though that's not really an X-Men movie, his character played out way better in those movies. Uh, like, they actually understood the character, they gave fans what they wanted, not just because of their hard R rating, but, you know, with the two uh, Wolverine movies, uh, they didn't really give fans what they wanted that much. They gave fans what they wanted a little bit in the Wolverine, but not a whole lot. But with Logan, they gave fans everything they wanted. And uh, that's coming from someone who is not really big into the X-Men series. I only watch the movies. I don't really know anything about the comics. I'm not a comic book reader, so yeah. But first off, let me just say, this movie was boring as hell, okay? I mean, I see what they're going. Uh, like, you're supposed to care about Jean Grey. I mean, she's supposed to be like this really big character you know, going from using her powers to good to evil as she can't control them, but really, it just did not work here. Like, the movie just felt like a big mess, even though they really do focus on this story of this one character, it really didn't hide the fact that there is so much stuff that just made me just, really? And, uh, because I do really enjoy the movies, like, uh, the first two X-Men movies are great, second movie was better, uh, third movie, like I said before, I think it's better than Wolverine, or Origins Wolverine, uh, but uh, um, I even didn't mind uh, X-Men Apocalypse, which was a far better movie than this. I mean, I didn't see that film in the theaters, but I did review it, and honestly, it didn't really, uh, it didn't really make me too mad, but really, there are stuff in this movie that, really, first, first things first, there are so many moments that could have easily made this movie rated R. One of the closest things is a death that, I know this is kind of a spoiler, but really, do you really care? I mean, this movie isn't even doing that well. It only made number two at the box office. Secret Life of Pets 2 made more money than that. And I saw this movie for free, okay? In 3D. I saw this in 3D for free, so it didn't really matter for me. But really, other than good performances, it really doesn't stand out. Like, action sequences, they just felt kind of messy for the most part, especially the last act of the movie, 
Like, it just, the way it ended, it just left a sour, bitter taste. Like, what just happened there? Like, what's going to happen in the, like, really, you know, Logan totally revived the X-Men movie series. Our basically first class did. And then we got Days of Future Past. Both movies were excellent. Um, X-Men Days of Future Past, I think I liked more than the first two X-Men movies. That movie just played the characters out so well and so much better. But uh, I can see what was going on. Because Disney bought Fox, like, the issues, there have just been so many issues going on. Like, when, like, this movie got delayed so many times, like, they just didn't know when they were going to release this movie. But, uh, you know, I'm getting way off topic with the story with how Dark Phoenix's releases instead of the overall movie itself. But really, I didn't really feel like talking about this movie. But I had to because I like making movie reviews for you guys. Uh, but really, other than that, there is noticeable green screen and the movie overall just felt rushed. Like, it didn't really understand, like, what entirely made the X-Men series so good. Like, it didn't really understand, like... Like, like I said, I'm not really big into the X-Men overall series, but I just know there's a lot of stuff that's going on that it's definitely noticeable. Like, the movie totally felt rushed, and for its PG-13 rating, there's been a lot, there's a lot of opportunity to make this rated R, but no, they just gave it a PG-13 rating. And I know all the other X-Men movies were PG-13, but, you know, for this one character, it could have easily gotten an R rating. But, you know, throughout the movie, I mean, think the movie isn't that long. It's only an hour and 53 minutes. It still felt way longer than it needed to be. I'm serious about this. I am not exaggerating. I hated, like, almost every second of this movie. Like, seriously, I mean, it has a good cast. James McAvoy, Jennifer Lawrence, Jessica Chastain... I mean, all of them were doing fine in the movie, but really, it just, there were just moments that just made me pissed off, and I don't know what it is, but it just let me, because I've seen what happened in the X-Men movies, I did, but uh, when it came to this, you know, I just felt like there was something missing out of this entire movie, there was a lot of stuff missing out of this movie, it just felt rushed, it was slow, it was boring, and when it picks up, it didn't really hide the fact that I pretty much didn't care anymore, because I didn't think anything better would come up, and really, it didn't. So, yeah, even though this movie, it could have been a lot better if actually, before all this nonsense with Disney, Fox, or whatever, like, the new mutants, I'm still looking forward to that, but I don't really have that much hope now because, you know, Disney bought Fox and all the delays and stuff, which is exactly what happened with this. I even, I, I kind of forgot that this movie was even coming out. Like, really, I thought this, like, I thought this movie was going to come out, like, like, weeks later, but no. I just noticed a week, like, oh, oh my god, Dark Phoenix is coming out? Oh my god. Like, really, I forgot completely that this movie was coming out. That just shows how this movie really... It didn't really feel like people actually cared anymore. And for the most part, they didn't. So yeah, overall, this movie just... It's easily probably one of the worst in the series right next to X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's... It's just... Mm, it's not fan stick bad, but for the most part... It could be this close to Fan 4 stick. I'm gonna give Dark Phoenix a 1 out of 5. My lowest rating would just be half a star, but you know, with good performances, that really didn't hide the fact that this movie, it just, it just made me just feel like I just wanted to go home immediately, like that. Uh, because this movie just, it's a forgettable mess that just could have been so much better if actually done right. Ah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I keep thinking Toy Story 4 and Child's Play are supposed to come out this week, but no, there's other stuff happening. Uh, Men, in Black, Men in Black International and other stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm so glad I got this video done. Now I can just move on because I have better stuff to do than 
talking about this movie. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.